Hey, everybody, it's Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions, and today we're going to talk about the three most common causes of audio dropout in your DAW. And today I've got Cakewalk open because it's just one that I happen to have open. And uh, we're going to start with the first one. The first one will be your buffer settings. Because I'm using a, a Behringer X32 console, which I can just open up my USB uh, control panel and I can see that my sample, my buffer set at 1,024 samples. Uh, you can also come over in Cubase, or not Cubase, but to Cakewalk, click Edit, click Preferences. Click driver settings, and you'll come down in here. It shows you your buffer size here. Uh, now, Cubase will usually give you an error code down here. It'll pop up down here in the bottom right. And if that happens, you can come over to their troubleshooting page. And as you can see, uh, there's a number corresponding with each cause. And there's there's 19 causes in here, but the first three deal with buffer. And it tells you how to fix it. But basically, what you would come over here and do is then increase the buffer size, and that would usually fix it. We're going to jump out of there because... The next cause is more common than people think, and that is your power management settings in Windows. So what you're going to do is come over here to uh, your search bar and type in Device Manager. Now, I'm in Windows 11 Pro, and you can, you can get here uh, several different ways, but this is an easy one. And what we're going to come down here is to our uh, system devices, first off. Now I have Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 3 to be exact, and we're going to check the properties on it right quick, and we're going to check the power management. Oh, look, you see that checkbox right here where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power? Uncheck it, click OK. However, if you're using USB like most people are, you're going to come over here to your USB controllers. And I've got a bunch of them. So we're going to check the properties and come to power management and see where it says allow. Turn that off. On every one of them. Now, see, these were all off, but Windows just recently did an update. So, if all of a sudden you start having problems after your, your system does an update or whatever, come back and check. Look here, every one of them are back on. Like I said, I have a bunch. Most of you won't have this this many. Most of your composite devices won't have a power management. So let's scroll down and make sure you've got every one of them. Uh, check your uh, your root hubs. See here.
Make sure I'm getting them all. I know this is boring, but that's extremely important. Okay, that takes care of the second most common cause. Now the third one, I don't have anything to show you, but it's your USB cable. Uh, if it's a cheap USB cable, and all of a sudden you start having audio issues, try a new USB cable. If it's one that you've had for several years, and all of a sudden it, you start getting popping and crackling and stuff, try a new USB cable. Uh, here in the studio, my last USB cable was here for 10 years. And it was older than that because it was in my old studio. And one day I started getting cracking and popping every turn, turned around. And I, I went nuts trying to figure out what it was. And it was that USB cable. Uh, age had done it in. It wasn't unplugged all the time. Uh, you know, it wasn't like I was unhooking it and moving it back and forth. No, it was plugged into the same place for... 10 years and then one day it just started uh, causing a problem those are the three most common causes of audio dropout in your doll i hope that helps i'm going to apologize if the audio is a little wonky in this video it's because it's hot here today it's 100 degrees and i've got the air conditioners on and it's really noisy in here so i'm using rtx voice to remove a uh, or actually RTX broadcast to remove background noise, but sometimes it gets a little wonky. Anyway, till next time, y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world. And this is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions, wishing y'all a great day. And I'm out of here.